I'm Morgan Murphy. You're looking at a 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome, one of a mere 400 produced in 1957. This car is in Kenya beige, which is a rare color. 90% of Bromes were either black or white. So this car actually takes on a pinkish hue, which you can see it lighting this time of day. I'm going to start it up and uh, drive it off the grassy knoll here. See, it had suicide doors in 1957. This is, was uh, a first taken directly from Cadillac's Motorama show car of 1950. Six. And the stainless steel top, which was a Harley Earl passion and invention. And you can see after 40 years, 41 years actually, this stainless steel top is uh, just as beautiful as the day that it, uh, it came off the assembly. 50 years, 50 years. You note that uh, Cadillac had an extremely low roof line in 1957. This made the car lower and much sportier, many inches lower, almost a foot lower than its 1941 60 special and also behind me here there's no b pillar so it gave the car an open hard top appearance which was very popular in the 1950s one other little added item which you may have trouble seeing from that vantage point is the polarized and tinted sun visor another little extra now i'm about to crank up about 335 horsepower of unbridled cadillac v8 power Cadillac in 1957 put all the options on this car that they could possibly think of, and one of them was an automatic starter. Cadillacs were meant to be sporty, but not too sporty. You didn't want the vulgar roar of, say, a Corvette. Other sports car. You wanted that power when you needed. 